Yeah, hey tubers. I got one message on on a page that uh, someone asked about about my cool intake right here. Well, Zantac. Um, well, he's the person who's making them is um, fortunately not making them anymore. But um, well, actually, if you he told me that he he's not making it so what I was planning to do I was planning to make it myself I told him I know quite a few sports tracks that's probably still want them so actually I'm gonna start making them um, I mean as of right now I have the Zantac one um, I'm gonna get some parts and try to fool around with them see how I can do difference between stock and having a cool intake you get just going up to 3,000 the normal between two to three thousand rpms you get a lot hell lot more acceleration from it I can tell you right now that's a big it's a big difference between maybe only now it changes is this part right here and you know have it cut off there and then maybe cut make this curve right here I'm not really positive how am I gonna do it but that's what I'm gonna do but unfortunately you can't see the you have to cut a hole into the firewall right here unfortunately you can't see the filter but it's a cube kind it's like saying it saying the um, K K and N same thing like this but only problem with those are it stays in right where I have the sport it stays in the cargo bay that where he doesn't do anything you're still you're basically getting the hot air from the engine this you're getting the cold air you're actually getting outside air so you get more performance you get better better everything 20 times better and I can tell you right now, it's night and day from the stock to the cool this cool intake. And I'm gonna start making them. And if any sport track out there, when I definitely definitely get some parts, is willing to test them out for me, I'll put one in my truck when I when I do mine when I do it. But if any sport track out there is willing to have willing to experiment with, with this and tell me about it I mean that'd be great I mean the Zantac one is a great 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 product but unfortunately it's not making it I'm saying this again and I'm gonna start making them and if you are willing to have experiment with your truck with this great product it'd be the same exact thing maybe a little bit different design but it'd be the same output the same everything Basically, nothing different between the Zantac and the one that I'm gonna I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, well I didn't do it this time, but once in a while you get a pop that's normal. Nothing wrong with that. You can hear the cool intake right now. You hear that? Well, that's the fan. You hear that right there? That's the cool intake. That's sucking. It's the stock one never sucks that much. The stock, it always you always lose. You lose so much power with the stock versus this. That's how much the you when you heard that sound right now it's pretty quiet, but when you heard that sound, the stock one makes never you lose so much air. That sucks. 20 times more air, and that's how you get the power. Now I'm gonna rev it. This is a tiny bit, she's still cold. I don't wanna do it too much. Now I'm like, you listen to right here, just put where I'm pointing the camera. You hear that? Alright, you hear that? Um, yeah, so that's that's one sound you need to listen for.
um, I'm down the hill right here. Uh, I'm going to show you originally in stock. Sports tracks have a very hard time. Well, I know with mine, and it, well, quite a few other guys mention it at the sports mysportstrack.com. That man, sports tracks do have a little hard time getting up, getting up the hill. Well, with the cool this cool intake, the true this is called a true cool intake. It helps the sports track to make it up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how how the cool intake takes off and all that and make it up the hill. I'll put the camera up here. As you can see, you can hear the noise. It has lots and lots of power right now. Hear that right there? That's the power. Okay, now I'll show you the RPMs. RPMs, what to tell you what I mean. going downhill but it's still the same idea stock will never do that stock be trying to struggle trying to do that all right straight away and with no one here I'll show you no one behind me watch 3,000 rpms that's it See how quick that goes up? You know what? I'll take it on her on 180. I'm going to point it down. Watch it. right now. I don't know if you notice how fast she gets up to 65 miles an hour. That's better than stock. Alright, I'm back home. Oh yeah, with the cool intake, um, as I said before, Zantac is fortunately not making them anymore. Uh, yeah, and talk to him. Uh, and well, as of right now, I'm taking it over right now. If you are going to try to make some, it's going to be a totally different design, but the same idea. Uh, you, you basically get a lot of performance on it. And what it, basically what I'm going to call them. It's not gonna be Zantac anymore because they don't do it anymore. It'll be called um, ST Cool Cool Intakes and more. So uh, and basically, what Zantac was charging for it was around 160, so maybe 160, 170 dollars around there. Not really sure. Cause that's not going to improve it. I'm gonna make it um, make it different than what that one is. The same idea, same performance. Basically, it won't really change. It's just the styling. Um, basically, that's it. If you have a sports track, I highly re recommend you to check out mysportstrack.com. It's a great site. That's where I got the cool intake from, but he's not making it. I mean, you got any more questions about the cool intake? Please tell me.